I hope that at some point in your life, you have the opportunity to be completely immersed in a creative project. A project that you can't eat, you can't sleep, and it completely overwhelms you in a wonderful way. And when you do this, I hope you have the support of your community because this, this week, we celebrated our one year anniversary at Goodland Kitchen, and it's due to the support of the community. So my creative process begins at the Santa Barbara Farmer's Market. I'm a huge advocate and lover of local food, and I just was in love with it, and the same year that the economy happened to take a high dive to a fixed plant was the year that I got my shiny master's degree and ended up working at Fairview Gardens. I said, you know, if I can't find a job in my field, I should follow my bliss. So I got a job at Fairview Gardens, and I loved it. I loved the strawberries, and I loved all the produce, and the people, it was great. But what happened was, this incredible abundance of produce, when not used, sometimes ends up on the compost pile. If you can't move the produce, it, it doesn't get to the consumers. In Santa Barbara, we have Magnificent produce, we have excellent consumers, a great culture around the farmer's market, but what we don't have is a lot of canners. And so that's what I started doing. I started canning at home, and I started doing strawberry jam, salsa, ketchup, pasta sauce, everything for the pantry for the whole year, everything I could think of. And I got to this point where I said, we need kitchens. We really need a kitchen that takes the food from the consumer to uh, excuse me, from the farmer to the consumer. So there's this concept called community-supported kitchens, and I didn't make this up. This is this, this is the national thing. It's people who make food on a community scale instead of an industrial scale. Food comes from farmers. It's made in small batches, it's nutrient-dense, and it's made from scratch. Three Stone Hearth was one of the first community-supported kitchens in the country. This is a for-profit enterprise. These women got together and they said, we need better food in Berkeley and we can do it. And so they run a subscription program where people pay in advance for the food and then they pick it up later. One World Everybody Eats is another kitchen and this is a by donation nonprofit. So you can go there and you can just pay $2 one day or $10 the next day for the same food and that's a nonprofit model, a little different than a lot of places, but it seems to work for them, and that's in Salt Lake City. La Cocina in San Francisco is a kitchen where people can rent space and make the food products that they wanna make and then be able to sell them, and the health department, the health department approves it, and it's made in a sanitary kitchen, so it gives a lot of immigrant women a place to do it. Okay, Julia Crookston, at this point, entered my life. I'm doing this research, and this, I met this wonderful, incredible chef. She really gives the, the name chef a whole new meaning. And she does jams like nobody's business. And she was building a kitchen in Goleta. And I heard about this, and I said, I'm in. I don't know you, but I am in. <laughs> and about six months later or something, four months later, when I, when I got on the project, um, this is the building. It's in Old Town Goleta in a neighborhood that nobody really expected would pop up a restaurant like ours, a kitchen like ours, but here we are. And this is one of the community members. The rental kitchen is one of the most important aspects of the kitchen. People can rent space by the hour to make their artisanal food products. So Heidi is a brownie maker, Roberto is making tamales here, and they're making their products in a way that they can sell them to the public, and they don't need to invest in an entire kitchen. When I learned of the kitchen, I also said, it needs to be a place that people can get food without planning in advance. They just can go and stop in and have lunch and be happy about it. And that is one of the things that I am most excited about. You can go Monday through Friday and get food that's made from the farmer's market for under $10. That concept did not exist in Goleta before, and nobody was doing it, I said I wanted to. Jack Motter, Elwood Canyon Farms, um, he represents in this slide local agriculture. That's one of the fundamental aspects of Goodland Kitchen. And here's a couple slides about our values. Culinary craftsmanship. How were we gonna be different than everybody else? Any other sandwich shop, any other kitchen? 
We care about our products. We don't put anything out unless it's remarkable. And we really take food very seriously because we love it. We read cookbooks all the time. We talk about food to no end. And if you're interested, there's also the opportunity for education. So we've run an internship program with knife skills classes. And we've, we're going to be doing some more cooking classes with Fairview Gardens. And they're doing jam classes and pickles and all these other things. So if you are interested in learning, it's available to you. Because of our values, we started attracting some really incredible tenants to rent space in the kitchen. Local harvest delivery is one of my favorite examples because they buy food from the farmer's market and then they deliver it to people's houses. So not only are we a rental kitchen and a market, we're also a pack house that gets food to local farmers. Here are some of the other tenants that we have. Fairview Gardens is going to be teaching canning classes. We have Namita's Cuisine, who does Indian food, and Burst Marshmallows. When I, when I heard of Burst, I thought, artisanal marshmallows? I've never heard of this. It's incredible. <laughs> and another creative project is the Meet the Farmer Dinner. We wanted a way to connect farmers to, the, to eaters and have a conversation together at the table. And we came up with this project, Eat the Farmer Dinner. It's happening right now at the kitchen. Every dinner has been sold out. I don't know if you can see, but there's Shu talking to people in the back. This brings me to my last slide, back to the creative project, whatever your project may be. I wish that this community supports you, and if it's food, I want to hear about it. Thank you.